this is bloody mental. I've just just seen a car. Now the police have just turned up. I don't know. I'll turn the camera around. I'll probably have to get dressed. That's right. Here we go. Is mental. I thought like where I'm parking is supposed to be like a really like quiet little village. A couple of weeks ago we had a um. Oh, shit. A couple of weeks ago we had a um a digger, 360 JCB, drive through the co-op and nick the cash machine, and now. There's the police car there, oh. and the police are running around now. Can't really see much. But over in the corner, right over there, there's more police that turned up. Oh, he's got a drone. There you go, police have got a drone. I wonder if you've got the license for that.
turn the lights out, I think. Place it turned up. Right. He's brave. He's going to go and have a look. But yeah, you can't really see the light, but I don't like the camera pick it up. But no. There's a car on fire over there. And it's what it's quite far in the distance, but yeah. Bloody mental. Sitting in my van, minding my own business. Suddenly, a little Subaru, forester type thing, bashes through the fence. Cut the bang, sounded like gunshot. It really did sound like gunshot. And I thought, oh, boat's trying to commit suicide. And then suddenly, bang, it's on fire. So I rang the police. Let's go back to the back of the van. I don't know that car is. Audi. Mate, you sit on a drone. Going, but they've left matey with the drone. I've gone quite a long time. No. Drone has got a fat battery, it's coming back. Alarms are going off. Definitely DTI.
and set the fire. The fire is out. They're going to be here for a while. So I just think, like, okay, she's moving. Oh yeah, I'm not going anywhere. some sleep now. So I can. And I'll show you in the morning. Well that was an eventful night. Sort of almost believed it didn't really happen. It definitely did. That's where the car went through. I just drove up. Through here. You can just make out a tire track there, look. Right in the distance is the car. Let's go and check it out. So there you can see the tracks. Going around. Around there. Ended up here. What an absolute That car was all right last night. Look at it. That got hot. Even the alloy wheels melted. The whole thing is absolutely destroyed. Cool, stink. They've got an Australia on it by the looks of it. Wow. That's not Subaru. VW. Oh. Mm, there you go. The end of a peaceful night. Well, that was an eventful night. I suppose I've got to get used to it really, ain't I? can't change your surroundings even though you can drive somewhere else but you know I actually thought that where I'm parked now is going to be it's like a sleepy village it's an absolutely lovely village I love it here you know it's got this perfect little community there's some really good shops around and you know it's just yeah but last night I suppose somebody got a bit drunk decided that he wanted to I don't know, steal a car or... Even though I don't understand how you could steal that kind of car. Because they got the, like, proper immobiliser keys. But, anyway, it is what it is. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, that car is, like, no more. Police turned up. Like, you know, I called the police because I... It sounded like gunshots to me. Um, and I know what a gun sounds like. So, uh... I thought maybe somebody's gone on a bit of a rampage. But you sort of, especially when you wake up at that time of night, you, every, all these emotions go through your head. It's like, is he going to smash? You know, my fear was he was going to smash into the van. You know, drive around a car park, drive around a field, lose his bearings, and then just like, bang, that'd be it. So I thought, well, call the police. And then let them deal with it, which they did. And they were quite quiet actually here. So they must have had the fire engine and all that down the other end of the road, because it's like a church lane. So uh, yeah, what an eventful night. So I'm just sitting here eating some porridge and a cup of coffee, and then go to work, because I have time. 12 minutes past eight. The van's already turned up. You can hear them, I don't know if you can hear them tapping away, but they've, they're fixing the fence. Like, that's pretty rapid, pretty quick. I can't believe they've fixed the fence already. So, uh, anyway, van life. Thanks for everyone who's watched and, you know, all the love and support. It's the comments. I keep saying it because it is it's a lovely thing, you know, 
you could be having a bad day and someone gives you a really nice comment and it's just like, thanks mate, I appreciate that. It's the little things that warm your heart, you know, when you're feeling a little bit down or, you know, fuck everything in it, you know. You have to deal with the situations in hand the best you can. So, with that, I want to thank you all. Thank you to Richard for uh, buying me a coffee. Appreciate that, mate. And it was nice to meet you at Newbury. So anyway, so uh, don't forget to click and subscribe. And for more <laughs> Band Life Adventures. See you later. Bye.